you don't have enough energy in the, the battery to drive flat out for every single lap. And that's done on purpose. You know, we could make the races shorter and drive flat out, but the whole point of Formula E is to focus on efficiency. Efficiency with the limited electrical energy a Formula E car is allowed to use is one of the most important factors and can often become the difference between victory and defeat. During Formula E's lifespan so far, efficiency has increased significantly. In Season 1, all teams used the same electric motor and 5-speed gearbox, producing 200 kilowatts of maximum power. But now, powertrain development has attracted numerous manufacturers. The single gear layout has been adopted by everyone for its stronger efficiency and the current cars reach 250 kilowatts in qualifying trim. The development of a Formula E powertrain over the years has also given engineers the chance to explore greater motor speeds and sourcing new materials to find more performance from the powertrain. Formula E has, has come a long way uh, since year one. Uh, the racing itself is incredibly close, especially now with the Gen 2 cars. It allows us drivers to, to really get up close and personal with uh, the other cars and end up rubbing a bit and um, making it exciting. For the 2020-21 Formula E season, Mahindra's drive for greater efficiency means he has embarked on new technical partnerships to get the edge on his competitors, working with industry leaders in ZF and Shell to find those extra fractions of a second on the circuit. The Formula E powertrain, of course, is all electric. The inverter turns the DC current in the battery to AC to drive the motor which is then converted into mechanical energy that is transferred by the transmission to drive the wheels. Converting as much of that energy as possible is crucial to ensure nothing from the battery is wasted. In that, the 52 kilowatt hour of maximum usable energy is deployed strategically throughout the course of a Formula E race. Together with partners ZF and Shell, Mahindra has worked on improving the efficiency with the two companies now working as an extension of the Mahindra Formula E team to ensure that all three can work together in collaboration and take the fight to their rivals on the grid. This has brought together a wealth of different engineering experience to develop Mahindra Season 7 and 8 powertrain. This year with ZF coming on board as a, an official powertrain partner um, with Mahindra, they brought their wealth of experience along and that really shows in the end product that we've got to work with this season. Uh, the, the powertrain itself is, is very efficient um, and we're able to utilize a lot of regen during the races in, in a very efficient way. Now we go into the races with a really positive outlook, thinking that we can move forward um, because, yeah, we've got a nice package underneath us that, that we understand how to use. At ZF's facilities in Germany, the hardware, so the inverter, the motor and the transmission have been developed for this year along with the software and control setup. ZF and Mahindra began work on the 2020-21 powertrain towards the end of the fifth Formula E season, but most of the development work fell during the global pandemic, meaning that everyone has had to work differently and focus on collaborating across borders and time zones. The new transmission developed by ZF has been made even more efficient with attention given to a new unique single drive gear design which further cuts energy losses. Although the hardware development has now ended for the current rule cycle, ZF and Mahindra continue to work on the software to extract the maximum from the overall package. Developing the software tools means that engineers can use the powertrain in a way that proves most efficient over the course of a race distance and also try and draw as much regenerative energy on the braking as possible to further increase the range of the car. Well, Formula E is really quite unique in, in the sense that you don't have enough energy in the, the battery to drive flat out for every single lap. Um, and that's done on purpose. You know, we could make the races shorter and drive flat out, but the whole point of Formula E is to focus on efficiency. First of all, we have to, to lift off the accelerator pedal at normally the, the highest speed sections in the circuit. Uh, that's the most efficient way to, to save energy, but not lose too much lap time. Um, and then we have to use regen going into the corners. So we have a paddle on the back of the steering wheel where we can activate regen without using the mechanical brakes. Um, and that again will slow the car down quite considerably whilst putting charge back into the battery to then be able to deploy that energy on the following straight um, and make the overall race as, as efficient as possible. In an ideal world, this means that by the end of the race, each car has more usable energy available to it and can therefore capitalize on using that to pass cars struggling to make it to the end of the race. Further performance gains have come from working with Shell as part of the wider powertrain project, 
specifically through developing a bespoke e-fluid for the transmission of Mahindra's Formula E car. E-fluids work in much the same way as traditional oils, lubricants and coolants in petrol cars, helping to protect parts such as the transmission from wear and reducing the internal friction. But the desired properties in an EV are very different. An e-fluid must be compatible with the electric powertrain and also serves as a role in the thermal management to ensure the components don't overheat. Furthermore, electric vehicles operate with different materials compared to those typically used in an internal combustion engine and therefore the e-fluids must contain additives that provide resistance to corrosion. E-fluids also have a lower operating temperature range, so need to have reduced viscosity at lower temperatures to provide the right lubrication to the parts that need them. To ensure that the e-fluids work as desired with Mahindra's ZF powertrain, Shell has been using ZF and Mahindra design transmission at its own testing facilities in Hamburg replicating the speeds and loads experienced within a Formula E race to analyse the effect of their e-fluids. By reducing friction further, improving the cooling properties of the e-fluid and working with other parameters, this would deliver even greater efficiency. Of course, the development of both the powertrain and e-fluids can then trickle down into the automotive industry, thus helping to improve the efficiency of a road-going vehicle. With the competitive close racing of Formula E acting as something of a testbed, this ensures that the products transitioning from race to road have all got plenty of experience in the most high-performance EV championship. By partnering with powerhouses like ZF and Shell, Mahindra has two more key players in their respective industries to tap into. And thanks to the sheer level of expertise on board, Mahindra has been able to develop one of the most efficient cars on the Formula E grid.